Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at OSPF. In particular, with OSPF, we're going to be taking a look at filtering networks with OSPF using distribute lists and filter lists. So, what we're going to do in this lab is we're going to configure both distribute lists and filter lists. We're going to go ahead and do some debug commands and some show commands for verification that we have completed our tasks correctly. I'm also going to show you the difference between the difference in OSPF between filtering using a distribute list and a filter list. It is very important to understand how these two commands are filtering, or not commands, how these two types of filtering are implemented in OSPF and how they and what they actually filter. So as you can see here in our lab we have six routers. Router 1 and router 2 are connected via serial 00 in area 0. Router 1, 3, and 5 are connected to form area 135. Router 1 to 3 is using fastd the net 0, 0 and router 3 and router 5 are connected using serial 00. On router 2, 4 and 6 are in area 246 and router 2 and router 4 are connected via fastd the net 0, 0 and router 4 and router 6 are connected via fastd the net 0, 0. I'll also go ahead and expand our drawing here, our topology summary, so you can see which links are connected to which. And so as you can see here, we have three areas, area 135, area 0, and area 246. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause the lab. I'm going to get the baseline configuration set up on all the routers, then we'll go ahead, we'll enable OSPF and we'll go ahead and take a look at filtering OSPF using distribute lists and filter lists and we'll also take a look at what the difference is with these two commands our forms of filtering within OSPF and then we'll also do some show commands maybe some debugs to verify our results Okay, so we're done with the baseline config. What I did was I went in and all the IP addresses here, you can see I have configured on all the interfaces. Also, I added a couple more loopbacks. So router 5 has two loopbacks, loopback 0 and loopback 55. Loopback 0 is 5.5.5.5 slash 24 and loopback 55 is all 55 slash 24. Router 6, I have two loopbacks. Loopback 0 is 6.6.6.6 slash 24. And loopback 66 is going to be all 66.66.66.0 uh, slash 24. So what we're going to do is we're going to advertise these networks into OSPF. And then we're just going to be take a look at the behavior uh, doing filtering here using distribute lists and filter lists. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go ahead and set up OSPF. First off, I guess I should tell you here of all the networks we have going on. Uh, we're going to be using the Class B private network range of 172.16. And between router 1 and 2, we're going to be using the 12 network. Between router 1 and 3, we're using the 13 network. Between router 5 and 3, we're using the 35 network. Between router 2 and 4, we are using the 24 network. And between router 4 and 6, we are using the 46 network. 